Okay guys, so how to edit like Mango Street and we're looking at Daniel's Instagram, so make sure you give him a follow, check out their merch and they've got all their presets for sale, so make sure you go check that stuff out. And right, so looking at their Instagram, awesome, awesome colors, really brown. I notice a lot of brown colors and it's very moody, very low whites. So I'm gonna pause right here and I really like the colors in these images here and that's what I'm gonna be sort of going for in this edit today, how do, how do they get these colors? Really, really like these colors and let's jump into Lightroom and see if we can get these really nice greens, really nice browns, that's quite warm, yet it's still kinda underexposed. So let's see if we can do it in Lightroom. So you can see this is our reference image, we have those really nice browns, it's quite underexposed, there's hardly any whites, and this is our image and let's go about trying to get these colors so i'm gonna slightly bring up exposure just a tad contrast a bit highlights i'm gonna bring up i already have a pretty bright image so i'm not gonna bring it too far up shadows coming up whites down and blacks down so our image is naturally quite a bit brighter so there's going to be a little bit of a difference going on but we should be able to work with it and I'm going to bring down saturation And tone curve, so there's a bit of a uh, S curve going on. And a bit of a fade, nothing too major. And tone curves is something I quite often just come back to after I've finished everything else. I just come back and sometimes tweak it a wee bit. Now, colors. So, we want those reds towards oranges. We want those oranges slightly towards the reds. Yellows to the orange. Greens. Greens stay pretty green. They keep their greens in their image quite a bit. Aqua, I'm going to bring up. I'm going to bring up quite a bit. Blue, I'm going to bring down. And saturation. I'm going to bring up the oranges because you can see really trying to bring out, bring out those orange colors. Yellow, I'm going to pretty much leave there. Greens, I'm going to desaturate. Aquas down a tad. And I'm going to really bring down those blues. And luminance, so bringing luminance down, deepens and darkens colors. So we want those nice deep colors. And then yellow really pops a lot of colors, so I'm gonna bring them up. It just pops the yellows, but the yellows are touching almost everything in the image, so I really like to bring them up. Yeah, our colors are looking pretty good so far. I'm just going to do a bit of split toning. So I'm gonna put a greeny blue into the highlights. And 
as you can see the green it's quite green in here and we're quite blue in here so I just want to shift it a bit more to a green color and our image wasn't perfectly white balanced so we will fix that soon should do it before you start editing but we'll do it shortly and we're gonna leave everything else and then come up back up here and I'm just gonna put a bit more green into the entire image and I think that's looking pretty good We're not too bright up top, we're not really showing off a bright sunny sky and we're just really showing off these nice deep colours. Sweet, I reckon that looks really good. I'm going to call this Moody Brown and create. So I'm going to try on some other colours, maybe tweak it if I have to and then you guys get a really good idea of how to use LUTs like this. So I'm going to bring up another similar image. I'm going to get this one. I'm going to expose it correctly. I'm going to expose it a lot. And then I'm going to apply our Moody Brown LUT. And bang I think it's looking pretty good straight away might just expose it a bit better take down those highlights so when you're working with LUTs the things you need to mess with uh, is exposure and maybe saturation and most likely skin tones but otherwise you're good if you are applying LUTs so you need to get good at working with exposure if you plan on using LUTs and for those people that purchase my LUTs I want you to get the best out of them so I really want you guys I'm gonna make a dedicated video on how to apply LUTs and get the most out of them by really knowing exactly how to white balance and expose the image correctly and then you know when to use saturation and then the brush tool or adjusting the skin tones and then otherwise every light should work pretty well so I think that image is looking great before after rich browns rich dark greens looking really really good so I actually really really like this light I'm just going to show you it on a bunch of other photos so we have a really nice one here might make it a bit larger actually I need it to apply a Moody Brown LUT and bang looking pretty good straight away gonna do a tad of adjusting so as you can see we have really dark blacks so I'm gonna bring up this is kind of basic stuff but it's very essential we have very bright whites so whites right down and shadows I like I want it to be a bit moodier so I'm gonna bring down the shadows to about minus four and I think there's a good blend of blacks and shadows which creates just a nice look in my opinion so before after and brown is quite a hard color to get there's no slider dedicated to brown so you have to do do quite a bit of combination of colors it's quite difficult so I think that looks really good on that one. We'll try on this image here. So we'll apply our moody brown LUT and we have to expose it. So I'm gonna bring up the exposure quite a bit. And now I'm going to really bring down those whites. As you can see, we're way too bright and yeah. We could darken it up if we wanted, a bit more moody. Again, you can see those really nice colors. 
awesome colors we're still we're still way too bright so bring exposure back down now we're too dark all right so it looks really good and moving on this image apply a lot looks really good straight off bring down the shadows and those whites are really bright and those blacks are just a bit too dark and yeah the images are also kind of flat mainly in the highlights it's just no whites it's just highlights so the images do come off kind of flat sometimes but they do have pretty dark blacks so it looks really good I think we've got one more image. Apply Moody Brown. Looks really bright, so I am going to bring down the exposure a bit. Highlights down. Whites down. And those blacks down. For after. So you pretty much get these really nice brown colors no matter what. And apply really nice colors, really like that look. Exposure down a tad. Highlights right down. Whites right down. Blacks up a bit. And need to bring our shadows up super like those colors this is actually going to be one of my favorite LUTs from now on really like color brown so that's it go back to our first image so there you have it guys make sure you go give them a follow on YouTube and Instagram and thanks for watching comment down below what you guys want to see I really want to help you guys and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one